Our next guest is entering his fourth season as USC's head football coach. No stranger to coaching because it runs in the family. We welcome mm. in Lane Kiffin. Thank you so much for being here. Although you are a crosstown rival, it is a pleasure to have you at our desk. Thank you. Glad to be here. <laughs> it's a one-way rivalry, actually. I, oh, they don't care about yes, you. Yes, yes, they right. do. Don't yeah. disrespect UCLA. Coach, great to have you here. Let me get right to it. Seven and six is not exactly a great record in college football, particularly for a team that went into the preseason poll ranked number one and had championship and national championship aspirations. What happened last year? A lot of bad things happened. You know, we were six and one. We were on the road, getting ready to go seven and one, and lost the game in Arizona. And we never recovered from that. And obviously, that falls on the head coach. Got to do a better job. But also, we're done with that. We've we've moved on. We've addressed a lot of things in the off season from our personnel, from our coaching staff, and um, we're excited about the future. So, coach, uh, two questions here together. How much did Matt Barkley have to do with your slide? He obviously got hurt at the end. And then, how do you project him in the NFL? Well, I think Matt was doing a lot of really good things. And unfortunately, we weren't playing good defense. We weren't playing well around him on offense. And, um, you know, the quarterback's going to get too much criticism in that situation. And then he didn't play the last two games of the year because of injury. Um, as far as the, in the NFL, I think he's going to be a great NFL quarterback. Great. Yeah, I do. And I think most people thought that one year ago. He didn't all of a sudden change. He's the exact same guy he was a year ago coming off of beating Oregon and 50 to nothing versus UCLA when everybody said he was going to be a top five pick. So um, I think the Eagles got a steal. Wow. Yeah, do, I was getting ready to ask you, do you think the Eagles are the ideal situation for him to be in? What do you know about Chip Kelly that has you so confident that Ma Matt Barkley will really, really shine on the next level? Because I think if you look at what Chip's done over the years, he utilizes his personnel and his quarterback so well. He's not going to try to run his system with Matt Barkley. He's going to do things that Matt can do really well when Matt eventually becomes a quarterback. And um, I think it, they'll, be, they'll be a great pair together. So... How surprised would you be if Matt started the first game? I would not be surprised not at, all. at all. You know, when when you draft your quarterback and the first guy that you you pick, you know, there's a, there's a lot to be said to go with that guy right away and then grow with him. Yeah, I I agree with that. So Chip's future in the NFL, you obviously went head to head with him a number of times. Think he'll be a big success? I do. I think everybody yeah. looks at Chip's offense and says, well, they scored so many points, but Chip is a great head coach. You know, while Chip was there, they played great defense. They played great special teams. Um, he manages the game extremely well, does a great job in the offseason with his players and player development. So uh, I think he's going to do a great job. But, but you, you obviously coach in pro football, so with the Raiders. There are a lot of things that he did at Oregon. I don't think he can get away with trying in the NFL. You might disagree. I, I agree, but I think Chip is so smart that he understands that. He's not going to try to do everything the same way, and he's going to learn about the NFL and adapt. I want to know why you guys, I want to get back to you guys for a second at USC. I want to know why are you so confident with this team right now? I think you got a secondary return and just one start. I, I'm wondering right now, as you look at your squad, what has you so confident that this year will be any different than last? I think we're going to be much better on defense in the front seven. We return almost the entire front seven. They, they had a great spring. They really have improved. And we've improved in our offensive line, which was a big issue last year. Uh, you know, all the attention with Marquise Lee and Matt Barkley and Robert Woods, we did not play well up front. There were games that we should have won that we lost because we weren't able to dominate up front, and we're going to get back to that. Yeah. Mm. Your father, longtime great defensive football coach, has now left you at USC to return to pro football with Jerry Jones in Dallas. I'm sure you've been in touch with them. Is it, how happy is he? Yeah, he seems re-energized. Um, very excited. I spent about 10 days with him down in Tampa uh, at the beginning of the month, and I just I could see it in him again. You know, he just gets to do football all the time, and there's not compliance there telling him, hey, <laughs> you can't meet with those players. You know, the players used to come up to his office and yeah. they'd say, this makes no sense. You know, if I was a doctor and somebody needed help, I can't say no to him. These kids just want to learn. So that, that was very um, strange for him. So he, he's... He's back Is it, I'm glad you brought that up because I read, and obviously I don't know your dad. I just know that he's an exceptional f football mind. There's no doubt about it. And he should be in the NFL because he's too gifted not to be. But I remember reading something along the lines where when people were talking about the Dallas Cowboys, they were questioning him and wh how effective he's going to be able to be because they questioned whether or not he could relate to today's generation of players. I'd like to know as his son, who, who, who's not too much older than today's generation <laughs> yeah, of players, what do you feel, how do you feel about 
those kind of reports coming out about your dad. Nobody's questioned his football acumen, yeah. but they have questioned his ability to relate simply because he's an older guy and yeah. you're talking about today's players. I think a very fair question, but I think for players that have been around him and coaches around him, I don't think that's an issue at all. I think he does a great job with the younger players, uh, understands how to relate to them, how to teach them. Derek Brooks and I are Not therapeutic. I got you. Well, his ability to connect to those players, that hasn't changed. Mm. Mm. Obviously, once upon a time, your dad was a great defensive coordinator at the University of Arkansas, Jerry Jones' alma mater. Is that a great fit for your dad with Jerry in Dallas? It, it seems to be. They haven't yeah. lost any games yet. Not yet. <laughs> well, it works, it works really well. <laughs> uh, no, I know they've, they've had a long relationship, and um, it seems to be going well, and I know he enjoys working for him. Do you, well, how, how do you see the Cowboys' success this year? I don't know enough yeah, to know. Just, I mean, yeah. you, uh, you know, we get so involved in college football and recruiting the off seasons year round. Uh, I don't know personnel like I used to. Well, let me get back to you because j just so many. Obviously, you were once a coach in the NFL as a head coach of the Oakland Raiders. Uh, I'm not going to blame you for that, seeing what I've seen from that franchise. But I must ask you, you know, obviously there's been some speculation as to your job security at USC, how long you're going to stay, whether they're going to want you going, whether you're going to want to leave. How would you describe your relationship with USC right now, your status as, an NFL, as, as a college football coach? I think when you take the job at USC, you're on the hot seat and you understand that. You know, you're not going to be able to please everybody. We got to do what's best for our football team, not worry about what's on the outside, what people are saying, and play better than we did last year. Can you do that? Yes. It's going to be easy for you to do? I mean, you're in Southern California, man. Yeah, it, that, that's LA. Okay. You know, we were talking about that the other day uh, um, on one of the shows. You know, uh, one of the basketball coaches wins the most in the history of the franchise and he gets fired. The other mm -hmm. basketball coach makes five or seven games, gets fired. and. They wanted to fire Mattingly last month, so yes. um, welcome, to, welcome, welcome to L.A. <laughs>